everyone. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me today. On my YouTube channel, there was quite a few people who said they've been feeling earthquakes there in Emmett, Idaho. So I thought I would check it out. I did find um, one monitor here by the uh, Cottonwood Creek area. USGS is not reporting earthquakes for this area, much of the country the smaller earthquakes even for Yellowstone here's one of the larger earthquakes it is marked in red so the computer did pick it up it is a magnitude 1.35 that one probably occurred about 10.05 p.m. late last night it was actually a series of quick popping earthquakes you can see the seismic signature here there's been other ones I mean a lot of little ones Let's see, we got, well, it went small on me, didn't it? Um, a lot of them. See them? See all the popping that's going on? Yeah, a lot of popping in this area. Um, let me bring it down to when I pulled the files. This is what it was showing when I pulled the files. So it's not your imagination. You are feeling earthquakes. This here is a slow-moving tremor. And we got a most recent one looks like let's check out the spectrogram yeah that's just a quick quick little pop it comes in as a magnitude 0 0.55 that one would have been at 11 18 a.m. and Idaho like many areas of the western United States is situated near a tectonic plane boundary there's another little one there making it susceptible to seismic activity the primary cause in this region is the movement of tectonic plates. Let me move this up. See if I can see more. Did I show you that one? Yeah. Let me close this out. Um, and I'll pull it over here. Yeah, lots of popping going on. See that? And it is located near the western edge of the Basin and Range Province where the North American plate interacts with the Pacific plate. The basin and range province is characterized by the extension of tectonics, where the earth crust is being stretched and pulled apart. There has been quite a few earthquakes uh, recently up over here, and I've been reporting on those. Um, that's a, a lake or a reservoir, if you want to call it. Um, this is the Long Valley Fault System. There was a magnitude 4.9 on February 26. So they've been having a lot of earthquakes. These ancient fault lines have become reactivated as uh, the Earth um, continents are slowly moving because of the weakening of the Earth's magnetic field. Off over here, let me close this out. You know, we've been having a lot of earthquakes there in Stanley, Idaho. Um, this one here is the Trans Chalice Fault System that extends all the way up to Canada. So let's bring it back down over here where you guys said you've been feeling these earthquakes there in Emmett. Here's another map showing the different faults that are in that location. Okay, let me find Emmett here. We do have the Emmett. Um, bench it says the Emmett Valley oh right there okay there's Emmett and we do have one fault here that shows up on the map this is the Bristol Creek fault zone that area it says here the fault is marked by a northeast facing scarp as much as 12 meters high so that would be more than 39 feet almost 40 feet. That's just tremendous. Scarps are formed when one side of the fault rises up um, compared to the other side of the fault, which may remain stationary or even drop. Yeah, almost a 40 foot rise. Yeah. So I can't say that that could be the fault that's been having the recent popping. It very well could be. Um, not a lot of information about that. Let me bring it out here. Yeah, you know, we got some more faults that are 
down towards the southwest. Uh, let's see here. Um, Snake River Plain, yeah. Um, that's because of the hot spot of the Yellowstone Volcano, the arch that I talked about. Let me bring it out. Yeah, this is the Snake River um, Plateau, the plain. Now, the Cottonwood Mountain Fault have been included in the Val Zone. These structures have been attributed to deep seated dextral shearing between the east and west extension of the basin and range province to the south and the more stable terraces to the north and the west. So just because a tree falls in the forest and no one is there to hear it doesn't mean it didn't fall, right? We got another earthquake right there, actually two of them. This is all fault movement. Yeah, it's my granddaughter you hear in the background. I got two grandchildren here today. Mm -hmm. um, see, we got some more earthquakes. Oops. Right there, and then another one there. Yeah, let's extract that. Yeah, it looks like maybe volcanic tremors. And let's go back to that and go to the spectrogram. These are shallow earthquakes. I can tell by the... the uh, spectrogram yeah these are all shallow but the largest one like I said was that one and they're they're not reporting um, lately I have been as you know I'm, I'm being shadow banned by um, YouTube I got a notice when I put up uh, a notice about the um, Israeli strike on Iran I actually got an email from YouTube saying it was fake news and spam and they were going to remove it and so I double checked in the morning when I got up and it was still on there I guess they realized I don't put out fake news and I do research um, what I'm doing they you know they don't want racism and things like that but yet I believe 28 Google employees held a, a protest a sit-in a pro-Palestinian protest they're at one of the Google offices, and um, they were subsequently fired. And these are the people that monitor YouTube and tell us what we can see and what we can't see. And yeah, they're the ones that are racist. Um, yeah, so my numbers are really down on YouTube because of um, their censoring. Yeah, they tell us what we can see and not see and what we can report and what we can't report it's really affected my views on youtube if it wasn't for the generous donations from you guys buying me cups of coffee or super stickers or paypal donations yeah um yeah it's it's just a tremendous loss of views that i'm getting on youtube and as you know, you guys have been following me over the years. Yeah, I don't BS. I show evidence of everything that I talk about, even with the earthquakes that USGS is not reporting. So what are your thoughts? Give me more information about these earthquakes that you've been feeling there. I only looked it up because um, so many people did comment under my report about the earthquake there in Washington State. Um, yeah, you're right. You're not feeling things. You are having, you know, micro, small earthquakes. How long did it last? What does it feel like? Please put those comments down below. Uh, this area is capable of having large earthquakes. So I hope you are prepared. Please always be prepared. Be safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.